This healthcare centre is now free of landmines and an exploded ordinance. Years of conflict before the separation of Sudan and South Sudan left vast grounds of the area. Around the health centre, the size of 70 soccer pitches affected by mines. Unbeknown to builders and hospital authorities, the construction of the hospital in Lobunok, some 90 kilometres south of South Sudan's capital Juba, progressed and remained fully functional. For six months after the discovery of several unexploded ordinances, patients needing urgent medical care had to stay away because unexploded ordinance were found in several areas around the hospital grounds. However, since the mine clearance operation began, the health facility has become much more accessible to the local population. Services at the healthcare center are now no longer restricted to those it was intended to serve. Patients or others seeking access to the health facility are now able to walk across the cleared grounds to reach the clinic. As you can see today is, is a, a day for polio vaccinations and the local people are, are travelling over what was a dangerous area and we've been able to clear it so they can get access to that, that medical facility. For the United Nations Mine Action Service teams, it is achievements like these that have led them to destroying nearly 38,000 landmines and over 941,000 unexploded ordinances all across South Sudan in and around schools, hospitals, and water points. So far, 187 schools, nearly a thousand water points, and 155 clinics have been made safe since 2004.